Hello, this is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Dropbox to back up your, your reunion genealogy file off-site. First, you're going to want to create a Dropbox account if you don't already have one. You can do that by following the link in the post that accompanies this video on genealogytools.com. A Dropbox account is free and allows you to store up to 2 gig of data. You can also upgrade it to 50 gig for $9.99 per month, or if you want more space, there's another option. But the 2 gig is free. So if your reunion file is less than 2 gig, then you can use Dropbox to back it up. So with that done, you will have a Dropbox file in your My Documents folder. So if you look here, here's my My Documents, and within there, there's this folder called My Dropbox once I've installed that. And I'll note here that there's a, there's a nice video on the main page for Dropbox that will show you the entire process. So I don't need to create a video, it's already been done. So I'm going to open up this Dropbox folder and you can see that I've got folders within that right now. And when we create that first backup using Reunion, it will create some files in here and synchronize that automatically up to Dropbox account. So I'm going to switch into Reunion and I'm going to go into the Tools Program Options and I'm going to select Folders and then Backup Files. I'm going to click on this ellipsis and click on My Documents and then My Dropbox. So that folder is selected here, you can see. And I'm just going to click Select Folder and click OK. Now when I exit Roots Magic, it's going to ask me if I want to back it up and I'm going to select Back Up This Database. And here it's going to show that it's all set by default to be on my computer and it's set to that Dropbox folder. You can see right here it's listed. And I can click Begin Backup and it will put it out there. Close that box. And you can see right here is the Roots Magic backup file, and it's got this little blue icon in here that is indicating that it's synchronizing up to the Dropbox account. And when that finishes, it will have a little green check mark like these other files and folders have on them. And that's as simple as it is. Now, with the 2 gig limitation, you're going to want to clean these up and not keep a bunch of these backups out there, especially if you've got a very large. Uh, database that you're backing up out there. But that's as simple as it is to store things uh, remotely on Dropbox.